Hey, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect, and welcome to this tutorial about importing SketchUp files to Blender. As you probably know, Blender uh, just got an update, or it's about to get an update, because Blender 4.4, it's already in a beta stage. And I just want to provide an update on a popular uh, workflow that is sending SketchUp files to Blender. This is a big deal because a lot of people start their designs in SketchUp and from the middle to the final stages of the process, they decided to send it to Blender to apply realistic materials, to add, uh, to render, to add lights. And uh, well, if I was them, I would do the entire job in Blender, but that's not the case here. Let's explore the options that we have today to send uh, SketchUp data to Blender. First of all, uh, the first scenario, which is the most easy one, you have access to SketchUp. If you do that, like me here, uh, you can go into the file, export, and choose a 3D model. Let me zoom out here and open it for you, 3D model. And right here, right here at the bottom, you will choose OBJ as your file and you will hit export. This is the easiest way because uh, you can import OBJ files directly from a Blender, no big deal. But let's go to a different scenario. Let's imagine that you do not have access to SketchUp. Someone will send the file to you. You will download a furniture piece, a model from the 3D warehouse, and uh, you have to send this data. You have to bring that data to Blender. So let's explore the options. In this case, the best bet here is to try or use the Blender add-on that can import SKP files. And the question is, does it still work with Blender 4.4? Let's take a look. This is the add-on here. This is the same add-on that uh, it's uh, from the guys from uh, Red Halo Studio. This is the address to download the add-on. I will leave uh, links here in the description of the video in case you want to try or download this add-on. And as you can see here from the last updates on the files, it's not been updated on, uh, on in, in a while. And if I open here the latest releases, you will see here that the latest release was for Blender 4.1 and SketchUp 2023. The fact that it works uh, that it's uh, it works with SketchUp 2023, no big deal because ever since SketchUp 2021, uh, the file format didn't change. So nothing uh, nothing new here. Uh, this add-on can handle the same file type. The problem uh, here is to see if will if it will keep working with Blender 4.1. So I will download the add-on here. In case you want to try the source code, you can download it from here. But this is the add-on. This is what you need to import uh, the add-on uh, to Blender. Now, this is for Windows. If you want to try the Mac version, I have a separate add-on here. It's actually a fork of that Windows add-on. I will leave a link in the description in case you want to download the Mac version for this uh add-on. So let's go to Blender to see uh, how it works. First, we have to install it. And here we are in a Blender. As you can see here, I'm using Blender 4.4, the beta version. And to get started, I will get rid of all of these things here. Select everything, press delete. And if you go there into the file, import, you will see that I don't have the add-on installed at the moment. And to get that installed, you will go to the Edit Preferences. And here under Add-ons, you choose this option, Install from Disk. And by the way, uh, you won't find this add-on here in the Get Extensions because it's not part of the uh, official Blender Extensions repository. It was rejected because this add-on has a small binary file, so it's not there. And uh, under add-ons, you can choose here, install from disk. Let me show you exactly what it, where it is. It's this arrow here, install from disk.
and here you will navigate to the folder where you downloaded the add-on i have the sketchup importer here the zip file select the zip file and hit the install from disk and you will see it right here just enable the add-on i can close this window and as you can see here under file import i now have an option there to import sketchup files so let's try that out and try to bring that file here to blender and here i have uh, two skp files in this folder this is the file that i want restaurant uh, 1004.skp that came straight from uh, sketchup it's using the sketchup 2024 uh, version which is by the way uh sketchup 2021 at uh, the same file type the same file version no difference if you hit uh, import blender will start to uh, process the entire scene it might take a while depending on the complexity you can see here that blender is uh, thinking and it's finished it took a while uh, if you see blender not responding or keeping it processing do not close blender it's just processing the entire scene you will see that we have all of the sketchup scenes here converted to cameras and the entire structure so where is our model if we zoom out you will see that it's right here so this is it this is how to bring sketchup files to blender for instance let me get this camera here press ctrl zero and set it as the active camera and there we have it so this is uh, the easiest way to bring data from uh, sketchup into blender and by the way uh if you uh, if you use this method it will even bring the textures if you start here with the preview of your materials you will see the textures applied on your sketchup file so this is it it still works but depending on your file uh, you might encounter some errors some small uh some small problems but for most of the time in most of the time it still works i will leave links in the description for all of the add-ons resources that i did mention on uh, this tutorial and besides the resources about this tutorial i will also leave links for my latest workshops one of them it's about using blender with a precise modeling tools i will teach you how to use blender as if it was a cat tool the other one it's about using blender for beginners i will go from scratch if you don't know anything about blender this workshop is for you i will go uh, from scratch teaching you how to use blender for 3d modeling uh how to do animations uh edit materials uh rendering geometry nodes uh, it's a general introduction uh to blender it's uh almost 15 hours uh 15 hours if i'm not mistaken links in the description i will also uh, leave links for my latest uh books about blender and design visualization so i hope you like it see you next time bye